Hey there, what's up YouTubers? So yeah, overall, today I have made myself extremely productive and useful, you know, by finishing up plenty of work and uh, plenty of tasks. Um, so in, in this video, I like to f I like to fulfill a promise that I made earlier to to uh, yeah to to my audiences plus so, um, you know my subscribers you know so in this video I, I would like to to share um, several um, stories about um, gynocentrism and uh, of course the harm that um, gynocentrism has wrought onto our society, you know, our community and uh, our very own lives. So let, let's begin. So um, in case you hadn't no noticed, um, I have um, been actually, you know, um, you know, conversing with um, you know, a grand uncle of mine, you know, who is uh, one of, uh, you know, a sibling of my grandma's and, you know, yeah, he, he, I, I can see that he, he has a good heart, he, you know, um, he always, almost always in, enjoys, you know, um, helping people, granting, um, favors to people who are who are need needy who are who are su who are su suffering and um, of course um yeah so o overall i quite like him you know i like him quite much as a person um but most importantly i you know i like his character and resolve after he lost so much um especially especially you know he lost his his um i um i suppose yeah he yeah he lost his firstborn son to some sort of a can cancer um knowing that he could um he could have saved you know his firstborn son's life but um during you know not um during but um <clears throat> Just um, just before you know, he he um, he was about to 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 go with his son um, to Beijing for a, for some better treatments. His wife all all of a sudden left him, and uh, you know, <laughs> and took took quite a large sum of money, which left him in a tough in a tough situation you know just like you know what i had experienced what i had experienced so far um you know not so far but um yeah quite like so far you know just, just like what i've experienced so far after i got rescued from a state of homelessness slash exile at a hotel you know actually from a hotel to another i bumped um i bumped into one hotel from one hotel to another due to the um, destabilizing and volatile s coronavirus um, situation. Some certain ho hotels, or I, or I should say, um, most most hotels in this particular city I am currently dwelling in had to these these um, not desensitize but um, um, kind of um, sterilize and de decontaminate. Um, their premises and uh, w which means they had they just had to um, drive all their um, tenants and uh, you know um, stayers out for a while um, before you know the government can could um, you know issue them a a a, a go ahead notice so 
so yeah that's the that's pretty much the short version of my um my my own story of being you know becoming homeless slash in exile in in china in actually technically tech, technically speaking in my hometown in the in the city in which i was born of course yeah and uh, yeah back to the main topic of this um, video so that's the first the first um horrifying story it's not just a story it's a truth it's a fact that i know to be true at least um so that grand un uncle of mine um despite the you know the, the agony the excruciating a a agony um of lo losing his firstborn son to some sort of cancer knowing he could still he could he might st still be a able to at least um, prolong his life if not completely cure the disease um he he could have saved you know his firstborn son's life but instead that um you know his wife actually it was um his second wife yeah since it was it is his second you know it it is his number two marriage you know since he lost his first wife kind of um more than i'd say maybe nearly two decades as far as i can re remember and that wife of of his you know yeah grand um grant um granted me granted me you know plenty of um kindness and favors as far as i can remember yeah so i so i do you know um you know sympathize with him greatly and yet i i i couldn't you know um do much favors in return um for him you know except um you know um ga gathering some 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 goods and items from other countries and uh, you know get get him get him some some of them such, such as you know moon mooncakes chocolate clothing maybe some 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 tools you know like, like a wrench or anything yeah that's what i've been think thinking you know um you know how to how i should you know return the favor how i should um do something to help one another I, especially you know that grand 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 uncle of mine you know yeah who 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 put it pretty much you know you know um you know he hugged me um he hugged me um at the scene um in which my old man kicked his bucket I, actually i suspect my old man already kicked his bucket well before he he was you know he he got sent to the hospital for emergency care or for the you know for the um for the emergency procedures to revive him and it did and it it did not work of course so yeah that grand uncle of mine who you know who you know he, he was the only one who hugged me and reassured me you know actually yeah he he grieved and mourned and uh, mourned with me while others including my biological grandfather um just um stand just um stood there kind of just um stood there and uh, um yeah there and yeah i also had my uncle at the same and uh, you know of course he didn't hug me or anything but um you know i i i i'm sure he had his concerns and causes so yeah that should um prove evidence enough that that grand uncle of mine does truly care about me if not truly loves me you know but i don't see the 
significant differences between um, being loving and caring, you know, I suppose they pretty much mean the same thing. Um, so, yeah, so story number two, um, I'm afraid I will, I, I might have to pick another date to, 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 to give you guys more um, specifications about such story and fact, you know, of such horrifying story that kind of, uh, that may kind of um, educate uh, men to to stay to stay alert to be aware of 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 women, especially you know, women who are stingy, who um, who who just you know, um, you know who just withhold kindness and uh, love and forgiveness. You you know, so let yeah that I have a I I have story not number two I have a a cousin whom I love and care about like a brother for another for another mother but uh, in fact um, yeah um, he's my you know an 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 you know an aunt of mine's firstborn son, you know, yeah, and uh, we pretty much grew up to, um, t we pretty much grew up together and we spent pretty much our childhood um, together under the care and supervision of my grandma. Um, yeah, so we shared some fun and enjoyable and uh, um, pleasurable experiences and memories. And yeah, he, I suppose, yeah, he got, he got married like maybe seven years ago, nearly seven years ago. Um, I, I can't remember the exact, um, you know, date, you know, of course, you know, in, yeah, when he got married and, uh, but um, yeah, he married to, uh, he got married to, uh, you know, um, allegedly, allegedly to a, to a um, classmate of his in his primary school i suppose you know to the best of my knowledge yeah and you know that woman which i call my sis one of my sisters in law um kind of you know i don't know but um yeah he she kind of uh, exhibited a, a bit of um di di disposition or inclination towards violence Apparently, she um, destroyed, or or I should say, um, smacked um, lots of um, furnitures and uh, in including the the sink in the toilet. You know, um, I from from what I heard, of course, I did not witness the whole event with my own eyes. So I, you know, in order to be more accurate and uh, to and to convey as many truths as I can so I have to say I didn't wit witness the whole event but I heard from yeah from my from my aunt and my grandma you know based on their their claims and sayings um, yeah that that women whom I call a sister-in-law of mine you know never cooks Never cooks any food, any um, any dinner or lunch properly for my for that brother of mine, you know. And uh, she also ne never um, cleans the household, the you know the you know the premises in which they 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 cohabitate. Um, Pretty much, and um, um, she also um, almost always, um, you know, send her, you know, her daughter to my to my aunt, you know, who is her grandma, you know, to look after the daughter, um, you know, in you know, on most occasions, and she. 
she doesn't even have a proper job um you know and uh and you know she well from based on based on what i heard um she wants she wants a divorce and yet she she you know she came up she 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 came up with a series of conditions which include which include but are not but are not limited to to um asking for a for for a um for a hundred um hundred grants co compensation from my brother you know from my big brother of course a cousin whom I love like a big brother since we spend a lot of enjoyable time together you know during our childhood yeah so it's um I think it's such a ridiculous um request of compensation you know you see um she re reason number one she um nearly doesn't give a shit she nearly doesn't give a freaking piece of shite about taking care of the household affairs of uh, her, her, da her daughter's education and uh, she she doesn't even spend uh, you know a penny or half a cent on buying clothing food all the daily necessities commodities as as etc with her own money you know she always kind of um, um let, let's just say um exploits my 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 brother you know she and um she caused my brother to to commit uh you know of uh not exactly a felony but a, a mis a minor misdemeanor by by driving while being drunk heavily drunk and she you know which made him you know get involved in some sort of car a a accident but um yeah she he he still yeah but for fortunately she he's he's still physically in intact pretty much though he got um scanned by plenty of guys and uh, maybe also thugs in the local area um in in order to reduce his sentences you know he was sentenced um to maybe six months in prison or, or something but at least i can see that he he's he, he's already got the bail but i don't know if he ever went to the trial you know to to, to the court for trial um if there were i would love to go to the hearing you know i i would love to to to, to attend the trial as a by by bystander even a, a a witness or a or a person to testify that my bro that my brother hasn't done anything terribly wrong you know he just gets so frustrated with his life with his wife and that's why he committed such misdemeanor by drunk drunk driving and uh, you know got cr car crashed so you know <laughs> he even the, you know the car even almost even almost hit a police officer but fortunately 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 <laughs> um it did not turn into something terribly big you know so i i'd say yeah my brother you know um got away um physically in one piece though me mentally speaking quite broken and spent so what he what is he doing right now while well, just um playing um, video games with his cell phone pretty much um from from time to time and uh yeah he's currently kind of um 
Yeah, he currently drives forklifts for a living at a warehouse of a supermarket, of course, owned by some sort of state enterprises. And he's, he's currently got a, got a, got a uh, decent occupation with handsome wages and sometimes also plenty of, um, you know, yearly or qu quarterly bonuses so far as I know based on what I heard from my aunt and my grandma. Yeah, so um, I can see also he is slowly recovering, recovering at least um, financially um, speaking. And uh, also, um, but um, these, you know, the, 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 the couple just um, pretty much has seized pretty much has ceased cohabitation and my and my brother he just you know um yeah sometimes on some occasions you know where he finds himself feeling so lonely and so stranded um so so helpless he just comes to my grandma's um, residence and uh, you know dine with me and my grandma I, of course i buy him some some food you know i, I buy him some something for at least something decent and hygiene you know for you know for dinner and i e eat with him and my grandma um yeah so I, I suppose that's the best i can do so far to help him get back on his feet um and you know also during some time you know when i found when i found him to be so super bored and uh, uh, idle, I would try. I always have been trying my best to teach him how to speak English and some other foreign languages and some skills, some some com com computer skills. Perhaps maybe that should give him that should give him a better um, chance or an edge over his peers. I have, I even have thoughts of, uh, you know, bringing him along with me, you know, um, you know, to overseas, to, 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 to Europe, to, to Australia, to Japan, um, so long as I can make my own way there. Um, and if I have some surplus funds, I also like to support him on, on the way, all, all the way there. Um, of course, you know, we are gonna, um, yeah, for better or worse, we are gonna, um, look after one another, look out for one another. If that happens, um, what else? Yeah, it's just, uh, that I find, I found, you know, catch 22 um, situation increasingly acute and alarming you know it's i don't know if i have done if i did the right thing by in inviting you know my 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 big brother to you know to 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 dinner whenever he he feels like that he needs to see me and and my grandma of course also his grandma his his grandma as well you know it's just um it's so harsh for him you know because i can see that he still has some sort of debt that needs to get um cleared or repaid um based on what he told me about his financial situation he still has around you know two 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 credit cards that that um that needs to get re um you know repaid or redeemed you know he, he has to because he borrowed some 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 money from the bank using the credit cards to pay off certain debts he owed to some maybe some thugs or some some 
suspicious people, you know, I don't know, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I, I didn't get myself to be involved with such a fear, except that I lent him, you know, 10 grand RMB. I, actually, I didn't, I, actually, it's not, a, it's not about lending or borrowing. In fact, I pretty much, you know, decided not to, to, to ask the money back, you know, since I consider it pretty much, you know, I consider it more a donation than, 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 than lending the money, you know, anyway, you know, it's, um, yeah, I, I just don't know if I have done the right thing by inviting him upstairs to have dinner with, 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 with grandma and I. So I don't know, you know, it's um, it's hard to say for the moment. So, yeah, um, I beg your pardon if I I have to mourn for being a bit on edge and uh, slow in reactions and responses since I have I had a long day, you know, working in the in the living room pretty much for the whole day and pretty much for more than half of, of the night so if you guys can excuse me for a while I I promise I shall share more in insights of those horrifying stories about our gynocentric society and those gynocentric um, gynocentric tragedies that occurred around me you know as long as I'm still breathing, as long as I still have access to the internet, as long as I can still access my YouTube channel via Chrome browser, browser, browser on my Windows PC. Um, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, thank you very much for watching and listening. Take care, stay safe, stay put, stay tuned, remain faithful and steadfast. And um, I hope to see you guys in my next videos on YouTube. Take care and uh, cheers for tomorrow and for the Lord's Day. Amen. Bye-bye.